In this video, I'm going to show you how to install your 80mm Pro Sport Evo Serie gauges and go over their functions. Alrighty, so you're going to go ahead and open it. You want to make sure that you have everything. So you're going to have your power wire harness. You're going to have a daisy chain harness. You're going to have your sensor wire. It's going to come with some spacers and a mounting uh, bracket. And then obviously your gauge, whichever one you have. This is a speedometer, this is the tachometer. They're the same size, they look the same off, but they are obviously different. Alrighty, and then real quick, show you how the standoffs and all that work. So you just pretty much thread these standoffs onto here. I don't know if you really need to pull those nuts off. Then you just slide this on. Essentially, you're going to put a hole in something, slide this through, and then you're gonna put this behind it, and it's gonna sandwich it in between here. And then you just pretty much tighten this down and it's going to hold it in place. The way we're going to be mounting these gauges is we're just pretty much press fitting them in there. So just figure I'd go over this since we won't be using the mounting bracket. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and install your tachometer here uh, from ProSport. And uh, so start off, you got your power harness. That's going to go into either one of these ports here. You're just going to press that in. Until it clicks and then that's pretty much it uh, so on there you have orange red white and black black is ground white is your switch 12 volts red is going to be constant 12 volts and orange is going to be your dimmer switch so you just want to go ahead and hook those up to those and uh, I mean obviously it's gonna be different per car then you have a jumper cable if you're running multiple of these gauges you do not need to use this if you only got the one gauge but if you just plug that into the port right next to that, then you can go ahead and plug this into another gauge. So if you had another one, you just plug it into there and boom, you've got, you only got a wire in one power harness, which is nice. And then you have your sensor wire and this is gonna get ran to your, it'll be coming off of the ECU. Um, it'll be like your, was that attack output basically? So you're gonna hook it up to that and then that just plugs in right here maybe so plug that in there and then you're good to go and then it should be working we'll go over all of that in uh, a bit here all righty so for your tachometer you're going to want to go ahead and uh, turn the arrow to point at however many or however many cylinders you have so in our case we got an ls here so we're going to want to set it to eight it came set to four so we just got to turn it till it hits eight and then we're good to go. All righty, so just a quick overview of the functions of the gauge. Uh, we have your different colors, uh, either one of these. So if you want to switch back and forth, you can do them. Set the white and then, uh, so if you just press this once, it'll show you your peak. So it's at 957. Uh, say you want to reset that click it go into it and then you press and hold and then it's reset and then you give it a little rev and there you go there's your peak um, and then say you want you press and hold it and you can just set to whatever you want your peak to be like yes yeah, so. so we'll set this down to like 2000 just so we ain't bounce this thing off rev limiter and so, set it to 2000, let it go back, and then when you, it'll show it. I don't remember if this one has the, it should have. I think it shut off the yeah. audio. Um, I don't remember how you, yeah, maybe those. Yeah, there you go. So you press and hold the outer two, and then that'll, it'll tell you when to shift. So that's pretty dope. And that's pretty much an overview of the RPM. That's all the functions. So link will be in the description if you want to pick up one of these or if you're just wondering what your gauge could do.